Okay, time for the auction. First item on the list. 2K01. I did this one on video, but I also modified it after, off camera. I deepened the notches, made it a little more pointy. I still haven't figured out what it is as far as material. I think it's kaolin chert. It has that translucency that's similar to kaolin. But it could be some other type of chert or jasper. Nice material. It had a few issues, but this particular piece was not bad. I think I, yeah, I think I napped it fairly easily. All right. Oh, let's see. Two and, two and nine sixteenths. Okay. Next item, 2K02. This one is a Scalorn with serrations made from raw chert. It's probably a Texas. It's kind of a, uh, in this light, it looks kind of greenish, but it's not. It's a uh, kind of a brown, I think. Either that or my color blindness is messing with me. All right, so it has little serrations on it. I've seen a few of these with this type of serrations on it. Okay. few real ones like that 2k03 this one is a toya style texas oklahoma area the serrations are a bit chaotic which is which uh, did happen on these it has kind of a needle tip raw chert There's a little bit of cortex on it still. This one is right about two inches. Okay. Two K zero four. This one is a Perdice style. Raw Texas chert, a little translucent, again with the same type of serrations as the Scalorn. They're spaced apart slightly. This one did give me trouble as far as the nappability. It was really, really tough. It's high quality but very tough chert. has a little bit of the uh, area under the cortex of that, this particular flake. You can kind of see it there. All right. Uh, one in 15 sixteenths are there about. Yeah. This was made on a skinning flake, not a very good quality as far as the shape of the flake, but I managed to get this little produce point out of it. Okay. Two items in this item number, two objects in this item number, 2K05. 
These are both the same type of chert. I believe it's Sonora chert or Sonora flint. Okay. Sonora flint, high quality raw, two hunting triangles, two and one eighth inch long, one and three eighth inch wide by three sixteenths inches thick. They are both 132 grains. I'm going to start doing more of these. I'll make them two or three at a time uh, of different materials of different sizes. So yeah, you can leave them like this or you can put notches in them. You can put serrations on them. Whatever you like. Okay. If you don't notch them at all and you just want to glue them in, I, I recommend epoxy glue that is designed for gluing glass. All right. 2K06 Texas Raw Chert Triangle. This is like Owl Creek Yellow. If it's not Owl Creek Yellow, it's very similar. Two and three eighths. Yeah. By inch and nine sixteenths, thereabout. Yeah. You can use it as a hunting point or whatever. Whatever you, whatever you want. It's more in line within that lateral dart point, but you can put it on an arrow, I suppose. Okay. Next point, 2K07. This one I did on video, the no talk video hunting point. I think I already measured it in the video toward the end. Yeah. 1 and 15 sixteenths. But one and a quarter. Yeah, this this material, I believe, is Owl Creek Black. It has a little bit of the cortex left. I managed to skin most of it off. So yeah, you can see it on video, whole process. All right. 2K08, it's a Novaculite blade. Uh, about two and, a little over two and three quarters. By inch, a little over inch and three quarter. A little over a quarter inch thick. Okay, I was going to make a point out of this one, but I ran out of time. I didn't thin it down as much as I usually do. But it's still sharp. You can mount it as a knife blade or whatever you like. Okay. Next item, 2K09. Root beer. Chert, Texas root beer chert. It's just a simple triangle. We call these hunting triangles. Similar in size to the Sonora. Let's see, this one. I'm going to weigh it since it's very similar to the other ones. It should be close to the same weight 162 hmm. must be more dense as far as the, the chert goes 162 grains translucent sharpened all the way around okay there's a lot of small blades in this one this auction 2k10 Texas chert. Uh, this one, I believe, is a heat treat. If it isn't, it napped really well. But I've been digging into my heat treat, and I think this is one of them. Heat treat flakes. 
that I did in the past, two and seven eighths by one and a quarter. Yeah. A lot of these can be used for hunting, these little blades that I've been making. Okay. 2K11. This is made from a Texas heat treat. For sure, this is heat treated for sure. Yeah, because in the raw state, this snaps completely different. And I can, I can see, yeah, I remember what this is. It is a little bit finicky when it's heated because it'll step fracture a lot, especially when you try to remove thin flakes. So that's why I left it a little bit thicker than usual. Let's see. Almost two and three quarter. Inch and a little over inch and an eighth. All of these are wide enough to be used for hunting points, except for maybe the the smaller smaller ones over there. Okay. But the blades, just the simple blades, are all wide enough. All right. 2K12. It, this is Tech of Us Jasper. Two and three sixteenths by inch and three eighths. Yeah. I have I have uh, a batch of this that's heat treated. This one is a heat treat also. Tech of Us Jasper. But they're not very long. I'll be making more of these from time to time with my the pieces of Tech of Us Jasper are, you know, two inches and under usually, the ones that I get. Nice material, not translucent. Very easy to nap. One of my favorites. All right. Let's see. I think I might have miscounted. Oh, uh, let's see. Okay, 2K13. This one is high, uh, fine grained basalt. And it had an inclusion right there, an ash or crystal. I think it was a crystal pocket right there. Quartz crystal, and it just popped out. <clears throat> Other than that, it's all right as far as. The material goes, it was very consistent. Two and a half. Okay. Almost inch and five eighths. Yeah, high, uh, fine grained basalt. Yeah, sharpened all the way around. Okay. And last but not least, got the box of. Brokes and bifaces. Okay, 2K14 box of brokes and bifaces. Let's get some of these little arrowhead pieces out first. Let's see, I broke this one. It's a fine grain basalt. Broke that one last night. This one, I don't know what material this is, but I was not able to thin it down very well. But it's intact. I mean, it's a complete piece. It can be, uh, it can be uh, displayed as a reproduction. A lot of these did have thick stems. This type of point, but yeah, it's a heat treat, and I don't know what type of material that is. Yeah, I wish I knew. Oh, well, okay. Uh, this one is. Raw Texas chert. And it was very difficult to nap through that concrete, so I just stopped. All right, this one is I think it's Alabates actually. Heat treat. But I was having trouble with some of this down here. 
near the stem, so I just gave up on it. It's it's very inconsistent. Up here is really nice, but then right down here, this is very concretey. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, I got a bunch of these brooks that I brooks that I had this weekend, or yeah, over the week too. Various materials. Uh, these are all charts. Some of them is heat. Some of them are heat treated. This one is a Tecoros Jasper. Yeah, this is a raw chert. This is heat treated. These are heat treated Ocala chert. Here's the other. I'll put these back together, kind of, and wrap them together. Uh, let's see. This one is a, a low-grade Texas chert, as far as I can tell. Piece of Georgetown. A uh, piece of uh, Novaculite, white Novaculite, but it was really thick, so I just stuck it in here. I didn't want. I didn't want to make a narrow point out of it or whatever. A little bit too thick. Uh, Texas chert. I don't know what this purple stuff is. Texas root beer chert. Snap this one. And this little. I was gonna. I guess I was gonna make a tomahawk blade out of it just to see, just to experiment with. All right. So I will fill up this box uh, with flakes. Uh, mostly, there will be Georgetown Flakes or Texas Chert. So that this will become completely full. Okay? All right. Rules. Auction ends at 9 p.m. Eastern tonight, Monday, 8 Central or 7 Mountain or 6 Pacific. I will start announcing the winners at 9.01, okay? So during the time from when it strikes nine until 9.01, I'll be looking to see who won. All right, bid in the comment section. I'll pre-populate the comments. And what that means is I'll put the item number and a little timestamp where the item appears in the video and a little description as a comment in the comment section and you bid under each one of those comments that has your item. You know, you look down in the comments and you see item number 2K01. You want to bid on it? You just tap that comment. It'll allow you to reply and you bid on it. Just put in the amount. Dollar sign, 15 bucks, 15, whatever. Okay? Just look at the other auctions if you don't know what's going on. <laughs> uh, try not to bid at the last minute. I'm using YouTube's time tracker. So those of you who know, YouTube's Times Tracker uh, is not reliable. Those of you who have already been bidding, they, you know. So just be aware of that. You can bid anytime you want. Just be aware that at the very end, if you choose to try to bid at the very last second, I'm going to be using two, YouTube's Time Tracker because that's what everybody sees. Uh, and it's not always accurate, so you may not win. Okay. Uh, shipping is free in the U.S., it's not free for international shipping. I will add $10 for first class package or $20 for a small flat rate box or $40 for a medium flat rate box. Uh, all of these gives you a, give you a discount on shipping. All right? uh, these international editions are less than what the actual cost is to send internationally. Uh, I will provide tracking numbers. I will like your comment or your bid if I see it. So this is important. If you not if you're not sure if I see your bid, just check see if I liked it. Uh, and may maybe wait a while because sometimes it'll take me an hour or so to see your comment. I will put a like on your comment if I see it. If time goes by, two or three hours goes by, or you're at the end of, toward the end of the auction during the last hour, if you don't see me like your bid, I might not see it. And YouTube is funny that way. Sometimes people don't see comments. 
just try bidding again or uh, you know, write in the comment, did you see my bid? All right, just be aware of that. Um, I will announce the winners in the comment section starting at 9 p.m. Actually, it's 9.01. I'll start. Okay, sometimes it takes me a while depending on the upload speed or the transfer speed or whatever they call it uh, in my area. My area is not that great for internet, okay? All right, so hope your weekend was good. Hope you uh, like the items. Uh, a lot of small items in this one, and it'll be pretty much mostly small items in upcoming au auctions as well. But I'll try to make more of those. All right, good luck.